Well, good morning, everybody. I am back at High Point, about to start the day. Uh, spend the night at Moses Hostel yesterday, and it was a great stay. Uh, had a good dinner, good conversation, and a good night's sleep. So I'm about to start, and um, it's going to be up for a little bit, but then most of the day is going to be down. The plan for today is get to Unionville. Hopefully, it should be a short day between eight and a half and nine miles. So it's a shorter day, which is good. Uh, the weather is supposed to be spectacular today. I think it's going to be in the mid 70s. So it should be a good uh, hiking day. So let's get it started. Well guys, it's mid-morning and uh, I've gone about uh, almost five miles, so I have uh, just about that much to go. Uh, today's going to be a short day, but it has been a beautiful day. It's very warm today and I've been going through lakes and pastures and it's just very, very pretty today. I'm going to enjoy it enjoy it while it lasts because I know the next couple of days it's going to be not as this good weather. It's going to be rainy and uh, possibly showers. But today is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And the trail is very mild, very gentle. So I haven't had any significant inclines. To so I'm just enjoying it and uh, making the best of the day. So it's definitely warmer today. I am dreaming of a cold Gatorade or a Diet Dr. Pepper. So a trail angel out there. Yes. What was that? Oh, it's a little toad. Hi, little guy. I don't know where it went. Well, I decided to take a lunch break on this beautiful creek 
I'm sitting on the uh, on the bridge actually and uh, I'm a little bit ahead of schedule I think I'm going to get to my next stop uh, fairly early in the day so that gives me the luxury of a extended lunch so lunch for today it's gonna be leftover pizza from last night so I'm just gonna sit here for a while I am finally being able to filter water with my new filter and uh, and have my pizza and enjoy this beautiful day life is good <laughs> oh that tastes good So good. Well, back on trail, I really enjoyed that extended lunch by the creek. The downside of a, an extended lunch is that now I have to warm up my muscles again. But uh, I'm in a beautiful area. I'm in the middle of this forest. And uh, it's early spring, so there are no leaves on the trees. And you can see across. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on here. There's some old settlement um no settlement there's some old homestead um walls uh, i know they used to do this to divide properties that's how they would know where the property lines were and you can still see some of them i'll, I'll turn the camera around but you can still see some of the old homestead uh, walls back there so the date's warming up fast i mean it's definitely in the high 70s but it's still absolutely beautiful and enjoying it. So there's uh, some leftovers of the old homestead uh, rock walls. You can see it in the back. I'll zoom in and see if there's a bit. There it goes. It's a beautiful part of the trail. Or snake of the season. That is the trail. You can see the boardwalk. And this, and this is it goes through a swamp that is completely floated I can see part of the boardwalk in the middle of the swamp well we are gonna take the alternate route <clears throat> So I'm walking on the side of the road, trying to circumvent the swamp 
and the swamp comes all to the edge of the road on both sides so but the water is very high and the where the gut trail goes the water is almost knee high so i'm not about to do that so i'll just keep walking on the side of the road until i find a way to join the trail again so i think this is my turn Oh yeah, there are the places. Back on trail. So this is where I should have come. If I was able to cross the swamp, I would have come in here. And you can see how the board walks are, they're actually floating on the water. They're gone and everything is submerged. Very glad I took the detour. Almost home for the night. Well, I'm going for a walk around Unionville. It's a beautiful evening, so it's perfect for a walk. Plus, I want to go to the general store to get some drinks. I'm still rehydrating from the last couple of days without electrolytes. So, it's very quaint, very quaint little town. So guys, I just walked down to the famous Annabelle's Pizza and um, I won't have pizza because I had pizza yesterday and this morning, but I did find some nice uh, Latin empanadas, so I'm going to have one of those with the soda that I've been craving all day, so just a light snack. Absolutely delicious. Good morning and welcome to day six, I think. I'm losing count. Uh, so today I'm getting a very late start. I'm just leaving Zola's, but uh, it's for a good reason. Uh, I sat down over a cup of tea and had a wonderful conversation with Pastor Dog and uh, it was absolutely worth it. So I'm leaving now, I live in Union, uh, Unionville. The plan for today is to hopefully hike 12 miles and uh, trying to find a place to stay for the night. I'm going to be primarily going through um, bog lands today, so there is no place to camp for uh, a lot of miles. So we'll take it as a go, keeping the uh, schedule fluid and uh, enjoy the day. It's going to be a beautiful day. It looks like the rain is going to be minimal and the temperature is very, very mild. So. Let's get this great day started.
guys, I just left Unionville. I gotta confess, it was hard leaving the little town. It was so quaint and everybody was so hiker friendly and welcoming. And I love my stay at Sola's. Uh, uh, Pastor Dog and his family are lovely. So I'm on this awesome trail. I wish everything would be like this. And uh, as I said earlier, I started a little bit late today, but um, just take it one step at a time. I'll get there when I get there. So I have a confession though. My breakfast today was the Twix candy bar. I don't know if that makes me hiker trash or a true hiker, but I never thought, I don't even eat candy bars, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, it's overcast, but uh, temperature is super pleasant. So I'm just gonna keep on trucking, trying to make up for some miles and uh, see, what, see how it goes. Well, I'm starting to feel some drops, so I think the rain is going to catch up with me before I expected it. So, I think I got one more hill to go, and uh, it should be pretty mild after that. So I will try to hustle, but I think I'm going to get wet today. This is so beautiful. I just saw a red fox cross the trail. It's beautiful and creepy at the same time. It is Well, I'm at the Pochok Mountain Shelter. I was not planning to stop here, but the rain started. It's just a very light rain and it was about, I was due for a break. So I decided to stop for a short break and wait until the rain stops to continue. Uh, I still have two very high in, uh, heels to go to, so I know that's going to slow me down. So I'm going to pack some calories and wait for the rain to stop and continue on.